Whether new shooter, longtime gun owner, or even police officer or soldier, your handgun needs a Crimson Trace laser sight or light. Get the confidence and reliability you need to protect family, home, and country. Crimson Trace. <laughs> This week on Gun Talk, Thomas broadcasting from the Ruger booth at the 143rd NRA Annual Meetings and Exhibits at the Indiana Convention Center in Indianapolis. Now, from the Ruger booth at NRA, here's Tom. All right, we are back with the Tom Gresham. It is Gun Talk. We are at the NRA's annual meetings. We're in the Ruger booth here having a ball. People coming by. I just had a guy come by. It was really funny. He said, hey, I called your show a couple weeks ago. You put me in touch with the folks at Excess Sites. Excess Sites... You know, I was worried about my eyesight. I got excess sights. They sent me a set of sights. I love these things. I said, well, call the show in a couple of weeks and give us a report. We love that kind of thing. Joyce Rubino is joining us right now from Colt. Those are the kind of meetings that take place all the time here at the NRA show, isn't it? That's right, Tom. Good morning. Thank Good you morning. for having me on the show. You bet. And that's why we're here this, this weekend. It's an opportunity to visit and listen and communicate with over 70,000 expected of, of our closest friends closest friends here at the show <laughs> and right. uh, you know really get a, a hands-on feel for what they're looking for from colt what their experiences are we get a lot of a lot of stories well, when you got a new, a new startup company like colt you know you, you guys need to learn a little bit about the gun business <laughs> always yeah. We're, it's uh, always a learning experience uh, it's not a, quite a startup so <laughs> we we have actually a birthday to announce don't we We do uh sam colt's 200th birthday anniversary is july 19th of this year so we're very excited about that. We've been promoting that since the SHOT Show of this year. Right. And we're working very diligently with different committees in the city of Hartford to plan uh, quite a gala. Really? We're calling it on uh, Saturday, July 19th. We're going to have a birthday party for Sam Cole? A big one, yes. Outstanding. Okay, yes. it's going to be where? It'll be, it'll be in Hartford. We're still working on the details of that. And there'll be more to follow. So as we get more details, both Colt and, and the committees involved in the city of Hartford will be getting again? that word out. July, Saturday, July 19th, 2014. Saturday, July 19th. Outstanding. Happy yes. birthday, Sam Colt. 200. 200. Outstanding. So is that how long the Colt company has been around, or how do you date the company itself? No, we date the company from 1836, which is about 177 years. Oh, okay. So operation. you're just a youngster. Yeah. Where we are. <laughs> <laughs> but all of our history is, is right there in the Hartford area. Colt has to be one of the most recognizable names on the planet, I would think. I mean, people know the name Colt Firearms. That brand is extremely well recognized. Uh, we, we continue to do market research on that, and we're very, very, very pleased with the brand recognition that we have. And, of course, I mean, people know a lot of the products. You know, you had a long time. I mean, for heaven's sakes, you know, the, the single-action revolver and all of that, the 1911. But you guys never stop. You're always pushing. You're always doing new, cool things. So what are people seeing in the booth? What are you working on? What, what are you telling people about now? Yes. Well, you have to continue to work on the, those new products, and that's what we're really very focused on right now, expanding what we do best. So further expansion of the 1911 platform. The Colt Mustang is probably the most popular item the in our booth right now, the 380 yeah. Mustang. Yeah. We've now introduced our first polymer frame version of a handgun Whoa. and that is in the Mustang platform and we're looking on building that with different variations we have uh, we'll be introducing different color polymer frames no um, so that'll be the first time you'll see the purple and the pink and the raspberry and That's gray very cool frames coming out of the Colt factory yeah so that'll be new and you can see some versions of those in the booth here today okay and uh, we're also working on expanding the rifle platform, of course. So, again, different variations, but on what we're most famous for and what we do best. That is outstanding. What's the motivation about the colors? Is that for a particular segment of the market, or are you just thinking that people just want to expand, or, or maybe even just give them a reason to buy another gun? It's it's looking to expand in different markets, primarily. Female market, as right. you know, is huge. So there's some interest there with some of the variations that we have in that platform. Uh, younger demographics, so right. that helps as well. And then, of course, just some variation for our tried and true customers. You mentioned the female market. Uh, they had a big uh, gathering yesterday of the women in this industry. Yes. Uh, did you go to that? Uh, yes, Tom, I was there. So that was you that was actually mugging Tom Selleck over there? <laughs> One of the few, yes. <laughs> <laughs> One of the many in this case, I think. Uh, but, but seriously, 
there is a coalescing of women in the firearms industry that I think mimics the gr- incredible growth of women in the firearms community. Yes, uh, that luncheon yesterday is, is certainly a testament that, to that. I believe there are over 800 women present at that luncheon. Wow. A very, very large fundraiser for mm-hmm. the Women's Leadership Forum and, and the different um, programs that they run through, right. through the NRA. And it just shows how there is such a commitment from the leadership and the women within the industry and and just avid shooters and those that want to get the word out from the female perspective. And it's amazing how it's grown here in the last five to six years. Yeah, my take on that is women taking responsibility for themselves, uh, self-empowerment, and essentially saying we're not going to be patted on the head anymore and say there there young lady we'll take care of you because they know it's not true correct they know it's up to them it's always been up to them and they're i mean you see it in your warranty cards coming in i mean women buying self-defense guns like crazy now absolutely and uh it's it's just so important to get that word out and there's so many programs out there now for additional training for women and just really getting them comfortable with the purchase. I think that's a huge, huge difference that, now, too. Yeah, you have to make the purchase experience more comfortable, which means you have to work with the people behind the counters. Correct. Who they're going to be talking to. Because, you know, it's not the same market. It's not the same customer coming in. And that's what we're working hard to do, to help educate the salesperson behind the counter, of course, on the Colt products, but also how important it is for that new customer to be able to try uh, and, and feel what that experience is, whether it's a Colt product or any, any product that they're looking for, they have to be comfortable. I don't think in many purchases they really have enough information mm-hmm. to help them make the right decision on that first purchase. All right. Now, you've been with Colt a long time. As you look into your crystal ball, mm-hmm. what are we going to be seeing from Colt over the next few years? What, where's the growth of the company? What are you guys doing? Well, the growth of the company is certainly, we're focused right now on the commercial market. As you know, our... That's us, the general consumers out here. Everybody that's here here this weekend and that we're trying to touch and and, and, uh, get get communication from. So the focus for us is really on the commercial market, trying to put additional resources into our handgun business. We're currently repurposing some of the equipment we have on the rifle side of the business. Oh, over to handguns? Uh, over to handguns, oh, okay. uh, equipment and labor. So you can meet the demand because the demand's still out there. The yeah. demand for our handguns is so strong, we continue not to meet that demand. So internally, we're looking at all the opportunities we oh, okay. have to grow the company in the commercial market. Outstanding. All right, and as you bring out new things, do you put them on your website? Absolutely. Okay, which is? www.colt.com. Colt.com. It'll get you there. Always a pleasure having you here, Thank Joyce. You, Tom. And I just I love it. Your booth is crowded. I know you got to get back there and work <laughs> it, so I'll, I'll let you go. Again, thank you so much, and congratulations on Sam Colt's 200th birthday coming up July 19th, and they can actually go to the party. Information yes. going to be on the website? Yes, Tom, it will. Perfect. All right. We'll be right back with more from the NRA's annual meetings. I'm Tom Gresham, and this is Gun Talk. One machine, one operator. Each machine is run by a single pair of hands. Hands that spend all day, every day, learning the machine inside and out. We don't believe in quotas. The point is crafting faultless ammunition, no matter how long that takes. It's not quick or easy. Being the best never is. Black Hills Ammunition. It started with our hands. In my world, there are no helpless victims. There is no weaker sex. In my world, pain comes from fear, and fear is not an option. But my world is just like yours. Only difference, how I choose to defend myself. Introducing the Carry-On series from Taurus, the ultimate collection of concealed carry firearms designed for discreet, reliable personal protection. Visit TaurusUSA.com to learn more. Carry-On. There's a rise in home invasions in America, and you need to be ready. Ready to protect yourself and your family. The Bedside Backup from Crossbreed Holsters keeps your gun at your bedside ready to go. It also folds flat for easy storage and travel. Take it with you and use with any hotel bed. To see more, go to CrossbreedHolsters.com. That's CrossbreedHolsters.com. The Bedside Backup is not a child safety device. 
are looking for shooting instruction but don't know where to go? Well, we have it, and you can access hours of training and safety videos, which you can watch on your home computer. On GunTalkTV.com, we have top competitive shooters, the best in self-defense trainers, and folks who have hunted all over the world, helping you learn which gun to buy, how to use it, how to store it safely, and everything else you need to be a safe and competent shooter. We also have gun makers showing off their newest rifles, shotguns, and handguns. Doesn't matter if you're a veteran shooter or a complete beginner, you'll find what you need at GunTalkTV.com. You can check it out for free, and you can get full access for only $5.95 a month. That gives you unlimited access to hundreds of videos, and we're adding more all the time. Run the videos over and over to make sure you understand what's being said. Skip around. You're in control. Get smarter. Shoot better. Visit GunTalkTV.com. In the war on terror, fighting crime in the streets, in competition and homes around the world, one name in firearms stands out, Sig Sauer. Our pistols and rifles are renowned for their unfailing performance. This same commitment to excellence can be found in our line of SIGTAC accessories and the training offered by the Sig Sauer Academy for unmatched quality, reliability, and innovation when it counts. Choose Sig Sauer. Visit SigSauer.com today. Broadcasting from the Ruger booth at the 143rd NRA Annual Meetings and Exhibits at the Indiana Convention Center in Indianapolis, you're listening to Gun Talk with Tom Gresham. Ah, oh, look at all my friends walking by here. It is uh, the NRA Annual Meetings. This is, these are the good people. These are the folks I like to hang around with. We had to, just had a family come up here, a bunch of beautiful little girls there. I said, are they shooters? Oh, yeah, they're all shooters. Had Hickok 45 coming by here. He just walked. There he is over there. Hickok 45 over there, guys. You can just go mob him. and uh, he, lo- you know, he loves the attention. No, I, I, I sick everybody. <laughs> Dale Coach is joining us from Liberty. How you doing, Dale? Great, Tom. How are you? Good. good. You guys sell any safes? Uh, it's a been couple? a great show, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, this is busy. <laughs> well, Liberty Safe, of course, uh, has been, we've been working with you guys for a long time and love your product. You make good stuff. I think, and I'm, I'm going to ask you this, I think the market has, I don't know if you call it matured, but they're smart enough now. They're smarter than they used to be in terms of buying quality stuff. Yeah, they're definitely more and more educated buyers out there, whether it's right. you know guns or safe. So right. So I mean, they look at it, they, they actually ask questions, and you guys provide the answers, and they look beyond the shine. How's yep. that? Yep, they do. Because because honestly, in the store. Every safe looks good. Yep. <laughs> I mean, truly, don't they? They, they do. They all, they all look the same, so it's, it's kind of what's behind the shine, like They all got shine, good, like good shiny said. paint on them. So yep. what does somebody look for in a safe? Uh, you know, right now everybody's looking for uh, not only fire but the added security. Um, mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, I don't want to give away too many details, but Ryan was out at our uh, place a few weeks ago, and, um, you know, we'll, we're, we'll we're be, shooting some TV with you there, yeah, so we'll be some revealing and, some things. And we had, uh, you know, some... Uh, Pry attacks that they filmed, and they they watched uh, us break into not only our well, they did break into our safe, but our safes and they tried competitors. to break into yours. Yeah, and uh, you know we don't want to give a, give away too many details, but uh, you know when it shows on guns and guns and gear here in a in a few weeks, but uh, you know yeah, it's, it, the, the it's details pretty, are, are behind the it's paint. So pretty impressive. You know, it, and ultimately, the whole goal is to protect whatever's inside the safe. Yep. That's, that's what it is. It's a locking box that keeps things safe. The other thing that I love about you guys is if somebody, if somebody tries to break in, tries to destroy your safe, uh, you guys will replace their safe for it. Yep. We have a, a full full lifetime warranty on, on the safe. And, and uh, you know, it's a transferable warranty. So if you wow. happen to buy too small, um, we tell everybody. <laughs> we, no, we all do it. <laughs> when, when you buy too small, because yeah. we all buy too small, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's why people go and get either the second safe or a bigger safe. Yep, that's right. Because we all do exactly the same thing. We all buy too small. We think, oh, this will be good enough. No, it's, yep. it's never. It, it, you know, everybody thinks it's a sales pitch, but it's not. It's it, No, it really isn't. I can tell you, you know, well, you know, what happens is you think, well, I'll put my guns in there. Great. Yeah, but then your wife says, yeah, but I want to put some of my stuff in there, too. And all of a sudden, we're we're bargaining for space in there. Yep. So, yeah. uh, and I'm a classic example. I, I own two safes, one for me and one for my wife, so. <laughs> Well, you know, the other thing is, 
a lot of people, we were talking earlier with somebody about the whole idea of preparedness. A lot of people are thinking, you know, and I can tell you from experience, when you have a hurricane, you can't get your money out of the bank. Yep. When all the electricity has gone down and everything's down, you need cash. You've got to have somebody that's going to cut a tree off your house, that kind of a thing. You've got to have cash available because there are a bunch of people trying to get these workers out there. And when you show up with a handful of cash... They will come get the tree off your house. So people are keeping cash in their safes now. Yeah, and, and you know, we, we've noticed that over the last five or six years with more and more of these uh, natural disasters. You know, banks aren't open. People can't uh, get their money out of the ATMs. There's right. no electricity. And, and so they are actually closing down, um, pulling their goods out of a safety deposit box and, and buying a safe and putting it in their home. So. Yeah, I'm not saying you're going to keep everything in there, but you need to have enough in there to say, okay, if there's a disaster, do we can we operate off of cash for a week or two? Yep. And you know wh- to whatever amount of money that is for you. But the other thing I like is, and we've actually tested this with your burn uh, safe and all of that. You've got little pockets that you can put cash in that protects it inside the safe. Yeah, yeah. We've got these little cool pockets. So if you get your more important documents, your cash, you can put them in the side, and it uh, keeps your. Um your valuables even cooler inside of them, these right. cool pockets inside the safe. So. Pretty cool. Yep. All right, so what have you guys been up to? Well, um, you know, we've been talking about the safety alert a lot lately. Right. And, uh, you know, we had our first success story uh, last week. What? A guy named Pete, he was uh, away from home. Um, he was on vacation, and he knew that there was nobody in the house, and uh, he got a little alert on his phone from a safety alert, and it said there was some movement detected, and so he was uh, a little curious. He ended up calling the cops. The cops went over to his house and found two guys trying to break into a safe. No. Yeah. For those who don't know, the safety alert is the coolest thing. It's just a small unit. I mean, we're talking, well, I don't know what, uh, a couple of packs of cigarettes kind of size. Yeah. And it's a little bitty thing. It goes inside your safe. It measures your the heat, the temperature. It measures the humidity. And it is sensitive to a door opening or the, the safe being moved and rocked. Yep. And if any of that happens, it sends you a message on your cell phone, wherever you are. Yep, and let you know knows what's happening. And, you know, there's a there's an app for uh, your iPhone. So anywhere you're at, you can check the, the status of your safe, the, the humidity, temperature levels, uh, if there's any movement that's been detected. So That's outstanding. Um, yeah. I love the success story. Yeah, so it's great. Yep. That is amazing. You guys have to be feel very good about it. In fact, I mean, you knew the system was good, yep. but when you get the feedback, it says it actually saved, you know, somebody's valuables yep. and got the bad guys arrested, which is the other good part yep, of this Yep, that's thing. right. So, so very, very cool. A lot of fun. Yeah, no kidding. So what else you got new? You got a uh, new, new product? Or? Uh, well, we've got a couple new colors. Um, our, our two most popular selling safes, the Fat Boy Junior and the Fat Boy 64. Um, right. We've added a couple new colors in the lineups, and we're offering some uh, special values um, through our dealers and on our website. Okay. Um, then also there's always the, the Tom Gresham rebate that's available. So if you go to libertysafe.com, see a little picture of Tom, click on him and enter promo code Tom, and the, they can save a few the, bucks. The former Tom. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Don't recognize me. People are coming up and saying, well, are, are you okay? I say, yeah, I'm losing weight on purpose. It's okay. It's, it's, it's a good thing. Yep. You know, because, you know, they, I don't know. Is he, like, dying on me? I said, no. Uh, yes, we are. We all die. Yeah. But, you know, no, it's, uh, but, yeah, if you go to libertysafe.com and you see my picture there and you click on that and you put my name in there. Yep. Okay, Tom. Just put it Tom. Tom or Gresham. Tom or Gresham. And Both. you will get, uh, it's like a pull-down List and the more you spend, the more you save. Essentially, yep, that's right. Yep. So you can save up to two hundred fifty bucks. Correct. On any of the safes? Yep. On any Liberty safe. Well, that's pretty cool. So. That's like free money. That's right. It is. <laughs> it <laughs> is free money. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's pretty neat. So where are you guys? Last time I was out there, you were expanding the factory again. Yep. So we're we're uh, about phase six of phase seven. Uh, I think we're seven phases. Um, we just uh, put in a brand new uh, paint booth. And we're now uh, finishing laying the foundation for a 100,000-square-foot uh, expansion of our 250,000-square-foot facility. So. so you're going to more than you're going to have at least a third more yep. than what you have now. Yeah. And you, you gave me some numbers last time. The numbers of safes you're turning out are unbelievable. Yeah. Yeah. We've got uh, a couple shifts working uh, around the clock and just staying as busy as they can. Right so. there in Utah, all made in America. Yep. Yep, you know, cranking them out. That's right. It's uh, the, the steel comes in and the safes go out. Yep, <laughs> it's, 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 it's the craziest. Thing. And when you watch them, you guys have got like a huge robotic things, and they're grabbing safes and moving doors around. 
But at the same time, there are certain steps in there that you need skilled people to yeah. do. When they're putting the, f- the fireboard in there and putting the interiors in, that's all done by people who know what the heck they're doing. Yep. Yeah, so, you know, we're, we're uh, becoming more uh, revolutionized with technology, but um, there's still plenty of need for, you know, we have close to 500 skilled laborers in our in our factory. Wow. So, yeah. That's really something. Yep. It's, uh, so how old is Liberty Safe? Um, well... Uh, 27 years. Um, you could even go back a few years if you count the f- couple years that they started in the garage of, uh, of the original owner. <laughs> another, <so. laughs> another garage started business, right? Yep. yep. A great American success story. Yep, that's right. So. so, so I mean, and so what you're looking for is good locking systems, fire protection. Please, please, people, do not forget the fire protection. That's right. And you're safe because you're probably just as likely or even more likely to need that as you will a, a burglar yep. attack, right? Yep. I mean, that, that's the deal. And uh, the other part of it is uh, we actually had a guy got hit by a tornado, picked up Liberty Safe, threw it around, you know, drops it. You still have to have somebody come out there and open it up. Yep. I mean, these things, they rock, man. I mean, and I will just tell people right now, I've seen the test you guys have done. There are some safes out there of other brands. If you drop them from a height, they will break open. Yeah, and and not, not, uh, not a very... Uh, it's not pretty. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's, I mean, doors fly off, seams pop open. It's just ugly. Yeah. yeah and, yeah. you know, if, if uh, any of the listeners go to just libertysafe.com, they can see all the videos that we do. So we, you know, we do uh, head-to-head comparisons between our safes and all of our competitors, too. Right. And they can actually actually see the, <laughs> the doors flying off. And <laughs> so it's all on the website? Yep. Okay, libertysafe.com. You can see our torture test. You can see the, guy, the things that you guys have done. Throwing safes off of a three-story huge monster forklift and all. I mean, you guys do crazy stuff to test these things. Yeah, well, you got to have a little fun, too. So. Well, why wouldn't you? <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Let's go roll it off a mountain, and then with the one we did where we strapped dynamite onto it, yep. we still couldn't get into it. Nope. Nope. Still sitting there in our front lobby. So That's, that's impressive. Yep, it, it's, it's a showpiece. It's ugly, but it's impressive. But, you know, anytime you get to blow stuff up with dynamite, why not, yep. right? You know? And actually, with, you did finally get that money out of there, there didn't you? Because we had we had money inside. Yeah, we we put a thousand dollars in there, and and uh, we told Ryan at the time and the crew if they could get it open, they could have it. And the safe could. is still the still lock shot with a thousand dollars inside. <laughs> it's still in there. Dale, thank you so much. LibertySafe.com, right? Yep, that'll work. All right, guys, don't go anywhere. We're at the NRA's annual meetings. I'm Tom Gresham. This is Gun Talk. We will be back in just a minute. One of Talker Magazine's 100 most important radio talk show hosts in America. You're listening to Gun Talk, heard every week at this time on great radio stations across America. Stay tuned. Gun Talk is coming right back. Covering all aspects of gun ownership every week on this fine radio station. You're listening to Gun Talk with Tom Gresham. Oh, just look at all of our friends out here. We're in the middle of the NRA show in Indianapolis, Indiana. We're at the Ruger booth. Appreciate the folks at Ruger taking care of us, man. they got cool products. They've got the the uh, the new 50th anniversary 1022. They've got a, a new uh, Ruger uh, revolver. The LCR with a, an external hammer, which is very cool. So a lot of cool things going on here. We get to see new things here, which is really fun, and talk about your new products. And there are a couple of them here uh, we have not talked about before. I'd like for everybody to know about. And joining me right now is Tim Lesser with SRC Sharps Rifle Company. Tim, welcome. Yes, thank you. It's good right. to be here. We had a nice dinner last night. We're talking about all your cool stuff you guys are up to. So we said, yeah, you got to come on and tell us all about this. First of all, you have this, what's well, an AR-15 bolt, an MSR bolt, except that... It's not the same bolt. It is not quite the same. Yeah. Right. So, you know, when you look at a at a standard AR-15 bolt, the uh, the front edges of the lugs are square right. and they're sharp. Right. And uh, when they're headed through the barrel extension and into the battery, there's some potential for hang up there. You've got sharp edges headed past other sharp edges. Okay. So what we've done is we've taken rounded and tapered those lugs. So that they're gonna okay. gonna be able to guide themselves home as they're headed through the barrel extension. I mean, I'm, as I'm holding up these two bolts, it's just it's very obvious what you have done. You have made it to where you're not gonna have 90 degree angles catching on each other. Exactly. So it'll slide in, even if for what because ha- there's a lot of movement going on. This bolt's flying back and forth real fast. Absolutely. And so if it gets slightly offline, this one will just slide in. 
You called it the Reliabolt? We do. Yeah, and the, the geometry has changed on the front there, but some of the other things that we've done, we've used an S7 tool steel. So it's, it's going to be stronger than the Carpenter 158, uh, right. and we've put an NP3 coating on there. So that, that helps with uh, the lubrication. Uh, you, you can basically run the bolt dry if you want to, but it also helps with cleaning. And so, okay. So what are we seeing? I know you've tested it. Uh, is it, does the rifle shoot longer? Does it shoot more reliably? What, what are you talking about? Here? Mostly more reliably. Um, it's it's going to be a matter of eliminating jams. So, oh. you know, with, with with AR platforms and MSRs, sometimes you fight those jams. Sure. And, and they're we inevitably do those, We do all those malfunction drills that we, yeah. ha- we love so much at the range. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. And it, it's bound to happen at the worst time. Well, yeah. And so this is this is aimed at eliminating that. And so we did some independent testing. We sent the sent the bolt off, sent a rifle and the bolt and a big bunch of ammo, and just said shoot this till it jams. Okay. And uh, the, after 7,500 rounds, they were still going. The barrel was toast. Wow. Uh, you know, it, we got it pretty hot through, it, through the testing, but it never right. jammed once. And uh, and that helped us kind of back up the claim. There were you know. It, it, a, just, it, it just runs, it's just a, runs clean. It's a no-jam bolt. Absolutely. That's what it is. Yeah. Now, is this available now? It is. Yep, so you can go to srcarms.com, and there's a list of, of places that you can go get it. But it's, you know, at Brownells, it's at Natchez, Mid-South. Okay. And it's just, just a straight-in drop-in bolt. Just, you know, take your AR part, put, drop this in, good Absolutely. Go. Yeah, it's uh, completely compatible with all parts groups. So it just, you know, it takes about two minutes to pop the old one out and put this one in. And the, uh, the MP3 coating I'm feeling it right now is just it's very slick. And, and that's also going to aid in cleaning because that's going to clean up real fast. It does. You can you can basically wipe it off. You know, there's there's going to be some some carbon in the back, you know, right. back behind the gas rings, but the rest of it basically wipes right off when it's when it's time to clean. So okay, all right. Now we got to talk about this other thing because this one really, you know, you know how much I like 25 caliber cartridges mm-hmm. anyway. And I'm a fan of the 257 Roberts and the the 25300 Savage. And you've got your own cartridge, specifically for the AR, but we'll probably see it in some other platforms too. Yeah, yeah. And so the the basic premise is it's a 25 caliber 223. But what we've done with with Sharps Rifle Company with SRC, uh, it's called the 2545. So okay. it's a 25 caliber bullet uh, coming out of the 5.56 by 45 case. So that's right. where the 45 comes in. And uh, what the, what this gets us is more efficiency. Realistically, now you're taking an 87 grain bullet, which is the the one I've got here, right? An 87 grain bullet out of a 223 case, but it's coming out at 3,000 feet a second from a 20 inch barrel. All so right. it's it's about 50 percent more energy when well, you start getting out there so to you distance. Get, you're getting a good energy. You got a good hunting round. And for those who may not have processed it, if you've been around a long time like I have, you're thinking, well, an 87 grain bullet. You know, 25 caliber cartridge is a varmint bullet. Well, that was once the case, mm-hmm. but that's not true anymore. Correct. And, uh, and so what we're using a series of, of different uh, premium bullets, but they're designed specifically for these types of... These are hunting bullets. They are, yeah. And we've been using them to shoot uh, with mule deer, whitetail, antelope. Uh, being from Wyoming, there's lots of antelope. Sure, sure. Uh, we've even taken one mountain lion with it. The, the owner Ooh. of the company did that, and uh, and it works great on hogs. And so you, oh, it I basically bet. just pumps up your, your 223 with a simple barrel change. Gives so you, you do a, a barrel change, power. same magazines, mm-hmm. no problem, uh, same gun. Just swap swap the barrel, you know, drop a new upper in there. If that's you know, you can probably buy uppers. Mm-hmm. You could also you could build a bolt action rifle for this. You could, too. yeah. And it's so on the on the AR platform, like you said, it is just the barrel. But you know, on something on a small little lightweight, tiny short action rifle, right. Right. you've really now got a truly short action. But it's a legitimate hunting cartridge, and it's you can get you know a five five and a half pound rifle that would be. Great. This, this would be a great cartridge to introduce youngsters into hunting with, though. A- absolutely. That's for me personally. I've got a couple of young kids, and, and they started with two twenty threes. And then when it became time to start hunting, we didn't have, you know, we were not allowed to use that in, right. in where I was. Right. And so they had to transition over, and we went to like a two fifty seven Roberts. Right. Uh, if they could have started with this, that's basically fifty percent more more uh, energy with only about eight percent more recoil. And this has a little less recoil even than a two fifty seven Roberts. Yeah, it does. It's a uh, it's a lot like a you know a two fifty two fifty savage. savage. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, it, and it's called the twenty five forty five SRC. Yep, twenty five forty five sharps, sharps, and it's from SRC. Okay. Is the, and when's that going to be available? We've got the ammunition now. We're looking uh, barrels will be the kind of the pacing item, and we'll probably have those in June. 
Okay, so and so for information, months. where do people find out when it's available? How do they get more? We will we'll put press releases out, but srcarms.com, we'll, we'll have it right there. We'll have updated information, and as soon as it's going to go uh, and, and available, we'll make sure that people are aware. Okay, srcarms.com, uh, 2545 Sharps is the cartridge. The Reliabolt is the slicked up, uh, very cool, new geometry on the lugs for your uh, AR-15 yes. bolt, which makes it simply more reliable. More reliable. Doesn't jam. Tim, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank man. you. All right, don't go far. Gun Talk will be right back. The XDM 3.8 Compact from Springfield Armory is two guns in one. Use as your concealed carry gun with a compact magazine and use the extended magazine for home defense. Carry 13 rounds of 9mm in the compact magazine and a whopping 19 rounds in the extended magazine. To see the entire family of Springfield Armory XDM pistols, go to SpringfieldArmory.com. That's SpringfieldArmory.com. Are you looking for a place to shoot? The National Shooting Sports Foundation has a great website called wheretoshoot.org. It's the largest database of shooting ranges on the Internet. It's also a great resource for shooters where you can find video tips, printable targets, and a lot more. Find it online at wheretoshoot.org. And while you're there, download their free iPhone app. That's wheretoshoot.org. No matter what gun you have, you want it to hit harder, shoot faster and flatter, and be more accurate. You get all that with the ammunition from Double Tap. Double Tap's experts select the best bullets, then load them to higher velocities while keeping safe pressures. Shoot small groups. Shoot farther. Use custom hunting loads in your handgun or rifle. Even fire two projectiles with one shot. DoubleTapAmmo.com. That's DoubleTapAmmo.com. The 45 Auto, also known as the 1911, is the standard other defensive pistols are measured against. No matter what pistol you carry, techniques developed around the 1911 are vital. You know you need training. And you know your concealed carry class definitely was not training. Now Gun Talk presents an exciting DVD, Fighting with the 1911 with Tiger McKee. Tiger's unique training style will have you drawing, moving, shooting, and running your gun better, no matter what style pistol you prefer. At ShopGunTalk.com, you can order our DVDs of Tiger's instruction. ShopGunTalk.com also has a two-DVD set, including Concealed Carry One. Get both for the information you know you need. This really is life and death. ShopGunTalk.com has DVDs, books, and other essential gear. ShopGunTalk.com. That's ShopGunTalk.com. Hi, this is Doug Koenig, professional shooter and winner of over 60 national and world championships. If you shoot an AR, you need to be running the new Sharps Reliabolt. This bolt is amazing. The Reliabolt was fired 7,500 consecutive times by an independent test facility, jam free. If you need the peace of mind and safety of not worrying about a jam, then buy the Sharps Reliable. Sharps Reliable is available at srcarms.com and tell them Doug sent you. It's the 143rd National Rifle Association Annual Exhibits and Meetings in Indianapolis, and Tom is on location at the Ruger booth as Gun Talk continues. Yes, we are. We are in the middle of the NRA's annual meetings. It's actually in the middle of the, the big exhibit hall here, and uh, having a ball. You know, we're we're getting to say hello to an awful lot of people. People come by and say, "Hey, love the show." We listen to the podcast, listen to our stations, and it's just it's great seeing everybody. One of the things we love doing is talking to people who you may know, but you don't know. It's one of those kind of things. Right now, we're joined by Kelly Glenn Kimbrough. Did I get that right, Kelly? That's right. Okay. Kelly is, you know Kelly, but you don't know Kelly. Because if you are a Ruger fan, you have seen, everybody's seen your picture. You have been the Ruger girl for how long now? 26 years. For 26 years. All these posters of you in your Western gear, people should know. You're not a Hollywood model who just puts this stuff on to pretend to be a Western girl, right? That's correct. Where do you live? I live in southeast Arizona on the Mexican border. We are cattle ranchers. Um, I'm a fifth-generation cattle rancher, and I'm also a mountain lion hunting guide, third-generation mountain lion hunting guide. Um, 
the reason that I started working for Ruger is Tom Ruger yeah. went out looking for someone who was just a real American woman that did some kind of occupation that was rough and tough and carried a gun. And um, so they came to me and they asked if I'd be interested. And Bill Ruger Sr. was a little leery. No kidding. Yeah, he was leery. And then, but after the first year, um, which was 1988, things went really well. And the public loved it. And the fact that everybody could identify with me because I was not a champion shooter. I had not won any awards at what I was doing. I was just a hardworking American woman. Yeah, but you're also a very attractive lady, and you you got that combination of you look like a model. I just had to tell you. Oh, that's nice. No, Thank you. you. Do. But Thank you're you. also a shooter, a rancher, and a mountain uh, lion guide, right? That's right. So were you shooting Rugers before? I, have to I ask was. You. My first gun was a Model 77 243. No kidding. Yep. And then... Um, of course, through the years, I have collected a lot of Rugers, and I use Rugers. The the one I use right now on the ranch, we are on the Mexican border. We are confronted daily with the You've got a, uh, just a flood drug of, runners uh, of and, people coming over the border. Yeah. Sure. So I have a scout rifle in my truck and um, usually on my horse. And then, but I, when we're doing the lion hunting up in, uh, we lion hunt in some really rugged rim country. Right on a contract to protect the bighorn sheep that are research projects. Okay. And a lot of those lions don't stop. Um, the, your dogs can't bay them. They just keep going. Ooh. So I use a Ruger Model 77 270. So you can reach out a ways. Yep. Yeah, make a longer shot. Yep, and it okay. works really well. Well, I'm looking here. They've got a, uh, a very cool Ruger revolver, and it's called, I'll look on the side of it, it says the Ruger Girl, 25 years. This is the one that Lipsy's did a special run last year, right? Right. They're they're just they're they're gonna be delivering them in the oh okay so very, they're they're, right. they're just coming out now right, right. very cool it's uh it's an three, three, three foot seven magnum right sp one hundred one sp one hundred one okay very sweet but then you also have your very own scout guy, rifle scout rifle that they've done up for you here right. and it says in appreciation for twenty six years of commitment and support Kelly Kembro the Ruger girl nineteen eighty eight to 2014, does that mean you are done doing this? I am, and not necessarily um, for any reason except I felt like when I started with Ruger, women were not a big thing in the industry. Right. And one reason Tom Ruger had brought me on was to try to get a, a woman to bring in women customers. Right. And, and as you know, the industry now is big on oh yeah women. The women everywhere so ruger doesn't really need me ruger's number one they um and i just decided maybe i should slide out of the way because um i don't feel like ruger wants to or needs to replace me however i think i did what i was asked to do by ruger you know by tom ruger in the very beginning it was to get the interest well, um you showed that Women are gun owners, women are hunters, women are interested, and women are knowledgeable about guns, which exactly. is the, the other part of it. Exactly. Plus, I fit every... Um, I started as a single woman, at, and then I was dating, then I was engaged, then I was married, then I was pregnant, then I had a child, I'm a mom, and and I'm still married, which is good to say in the United States, yes, the, the divorce rate. And so... Um, so as far as representing an American woman, I am a person that just holds um, a couple jobs that aren't really normal jobs. Yeah, but, r- rancher and guide. Right. Yes. Yeah, I would say so. But also, so. I, you know, I, I have a daughter in the FFA, and mm-hmm. I'm an FFA mom, and I promote, you know, gun safety to a lot of kids. So it's it's been good for Ruger and I both, I think. I like hearing that you, you, you like the Scout Rifle because I'm a real fan of the Scout Rifle. It's kind of a do-everything rig, isn't it? Oh, it is. It's awesome. It's the go-to gun. I mean, on a yeah. horse, in a Jeep, in a truck, whatever, wherever you need it, and it'll do whatever you need it to do. You, you can shoot at long range. We've shot... Right. I way, put a scope on mine. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I like scope. Well, I mean, we've shot at 600 yards with a Scout Rifle. It'll right. do all of that. Right. So, Kelly, right. can I get you to hold on a second? We'll do a little quick break here. We'll come sure. back and talk with you a little bit. Sure. All right, we're at the uh, the Ruger booth, obviously, at the NRA annual meetings in Indianapolis, having a ball here. Uh, it's one of those deals, you know, having a great time, wish you were here. But look at all these people out here. we got people 
all over the place. They're coming up there saying hi. They're they're looking at cool guns. They're try not to drool so much on the guns, everybody. You know, we're all having a great time here. No, I, I do the same thing. Hi, I'm Tom Gresham. This is Gun Talk, and we'll be right back. Gun Talk stands for safety, personal responsibility, and common courtesy. To be a part of the show, call 1-TOM-TALK-GUN. Gun Talk will be right back. And we're back with you, Tom Gresham. It's Gun Talk. Uh, We're at the NRA's annual meetings here talking with... uh, Kelly Glenn Kimbrough, and Kelly, you're telling me that the SP-101 Ruger is what you carry on your belt every day? That's right. Really? Every day. 357 Magnum. Ranching, hunting, everything. Just yeah. in case. Just in case. Okay. And I've killed uh, five or six lions with it because some of the lions we catch are close right. to us at that point. Um, not all of them are out there in 270 how you, range. How, how do you hunt lions? We do dry ground hunting. We have um, 20 hounds. We rotate packs, so we'll have three packs out of those 20, and so they can rest. They hunt a day, they rest two days. Um, we book 10-day hunts, and we ride mules and hunt with those hounds. And so it is, you wow. cover a lot of country. We average 20 miles a day. That's rugged. Yeah, it's very rugged. It's dry southeast Arizona. We do have pines at some point. We have a lot of oaks. We have a lot of cactus. Right. So um, And so we just go out every morning into a particular mountain range. We have several that we hunt, unload uh, our dogs, our mules, load our clients and us on the mules and take off, and we cut a circle. And you hope to hit a track. Once you hit a scent, Dad and I have to double-check it because we don't have snow. Snow hunters can see what they're trailing. Okay. We make sure we're trailing a lion and we're going the right direction. Okay. Because the dogs can't tell. Sure. And then hopefully we trail it up and jump it and bay it and get it but some days a lot of them get away a yep. lot of them you never get jumped right but it's a it's a great uh extreme sport it is an extreme sport and there are a lot of lions people may not understand there are a lot of mountain lions that's right we have plenty of lions my dad and my grandpa started hunting in 1947 um they have been managers as well as hunters we are the only ones that hunt in that corner of arizona and, you know, you, if you know you're trailing a female that has kittens, pull off. If yep. you, you know, it's just a responsible game management sure. type deal. Most of the work we do is for depredation for either the bighorn uh, sheep or cattle. Right. And um, so we respond to particular areas that are having a problem. Okay. Now, I, I, 25, 26 years now with Ruger. You're, you're ending it. You're the, the Ruger girl. You've been on all these posters. You've signed hundreds of thousands, maybe millions of posters through the years. And people love you. Uh, you know, we're going to miss you. Oh, thank you. Well, I'm going to miss it, too. And actually, um, my daughter is is not going to take step into my shoes, but she has some things I'm trying. She's going to come out with a cookbook, and she wants to go into culinary and also stay in the ranching. You know, I w- and, and my family has two ranches we own and one we lease and our hunting business. And it's just my dad and mom and I. My dad is 78. Well, you're busy. We are busy. And my dad's uh, answer, everybody says to him, when are you going to retire? And he says, when Kelly gets too old. So <laughs> so I have my work cut out for me. I but guess. I also want to write a book about, uh, you know, our whole history of the ranching and hunting because it's been a really colorful history. I guess. Well, I, I know you want to uh, you say goodbye to Ruger. You've got some, some, some thanks to throw out there, so I'll let you have that now. He's, okay. So um, we've got Mr. Mike Pfeiffer standing here right in front of us, all the Ruger the, crew here. In the beginning, um, Ruger took me on, and they, they had faith that it would work. Through the changing of the guard all of these years, um, as, as the Ruger family sold the company and, and – a new leadership came in, they stayed with me. And I really appreciate it. And every year I thought would probably be my last, especially when I reached certain plateaus, like when I was pregnant or became a mom. And Ruger stuck beside me all the way through, and I really appreciate it. Well, we appreciate uh, you. I just want to thank you for everything you've done. You, you have been our all of our Ruger girl for all these years. I, just, I want to thank you. Everybody, let's thank Kelly. Oh. It's been wonderful having you as part of our family. 
you're not going to go away. I know you're still going to be shooting. You're going to be guiding. You're going to be you know, ranching. You're going to be around. So we're not going to miss you, but we're going to miss you. Okay? okay. Thank you. Thank you so much Thank for you. being here with us. Just yeah. wonderful. All right. Don't go anywhere. We're at the Ruger booth here at the NRA annual meetings. I'm Tom Gresham. It's Gun Talk. Check it out. GunTalk.com. Be right back. No black helicopters here. Just the facts about gun rights and gun ownership. This is Gun Talk. 